Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Stormworks build and rescue video. Today we are continuing on with our supply ship. Now, as you guys can currently see, uh, we've got a few issues with this supply ship. I'm trying to weigh it down on the other side, as you can see, and um, yeah, it's listing. It is listing quite a bit. So what I've done to try and counter this is I've actually added a bunch of weight to the bottom, um, and that doesn't seem to have helped all that much. So, what we're going to do right now is we're going to add an active stabilization system and hopefully that fixes things. Maybe. Okay, so if you guys haven't seen the active stabilization system that I literally always use, I use this thing. It's called the ZE Ship Stabilizer and uh, it was built by Urinwind or Urinwind. Uh, so we're going to just copy this over to our boat. Uh, you can make it bigger, smaller, or whatever, and it'll work fine. Uh, sometimes I have a few issues with it, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but a lot of the time it just works fine, so that's pretty cool. There we go. Just go ahead and cut this. Um, move it around, make sure we've got everything, except we don't. Uh, we just need to remember to attach a constant on signal to there. Okay? That's all we need to do. So... Uh, delete this, delete this, and go back to our boat, which is this thing. Yeah, here we go. So, um, we need to figure out a place to actually put this. Now, it's not small, but it's not massive. So, if we go down onto the inside, can we actually position it somewhere in here that doesn't interrupt anything? If that makes any sense at all. Uh, for example, if we were to put it directly in the middle, which is actually there... We drop it down one, there, and we paste it. Then, we merge these pieces with this piece. And then, and then, and then, we delete a bunch of this. Ah, oh, we can't really do that. We can't really do that. Alright, okay, undo everything. <laughs> Put it all back. Alright, lift this up. And we're gonna have to have it just there. That's fine. That's fine. We can still add doors to here, so we can actually see this moving around while we're actually driving. That'd be pretty cool. Um, yeah. Alright, paste it right there. Merge this with this and add an on signal. Uh, on signal. There we go. Uh, directly to this thing where that button was. Right there. All right, cool. Connect this straight to there. And that is essentially all we need to do. Except we do also need to attach the battery to our batteries uh, just to make sure that it works, if that makes sense. So we've always got electricity. Yeah, good. All right, spawn it in, see what it does. Um... We'll, we'll hopefully have some stable stuff going on here. It hasn't tipped over yet, so good. <laughs> good, I guess. Yeah, cool. Alright, let me just jump on board, and we'll see if it does tip over. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I want to see on the inside, so let's have a little look. Here we go. What is it doing currently? What are you doing currently? See, this is one thing that seems to happen quite often with active stabilization systems. They essentially counter themselves, but then they sort of do it too much, and then the ship all goes sideways, and bad things happen. Uh, and that is why we are swaying from side to side, as we are right now. Yeah. Okay, so we are probably going to have a few issues with that, uh, but we'll get them fixed. Anyway, uh, there is one more thing that we do need to do, and you guys have came up with a few ideas on what we can do. Um, and the idea that I've just had in my brain won't actually work. It won't actually work, unless we can get the containers to the right height. However, that is a difficult issue. So, if we actually drag this over to here, we spawn it in. Yeah, um, the problem is that it's actually so low down there, um, that the crane that I was going to build won't work. It won't actually work. That sucks. Okay, so we're actually going to try and build, I don't know, like a little small crane in the middle. I'm hoping this works. I, I, I don't know how to make this look right. But um, essentially, I'm going to make it in pink. And this is how we're going to make things work. So, we need the centerpiece to actually be three. Uh, which at the moment, it can't really be. Uh, unless we do it a little bit odd on the bottom. Which, I guess is fine. We can do that. Uh, what I'm thinking we do then is we drag it out sideways a little bit more than we were going to. We make this thing a little bit bigger than we were going to. And hopefully, in the end, it actually works better 
than we wanted it to. So, uh, let's go ahead and turn these around. Yes. Is that going to be big enough for the base of this thing? Probably. Uh, and what I'm thinking we do is we actually take these pieces up the side and we have it really tall. Like, really tall. There we go. All the way up to there. Do the same with this piece. All the way up to the same point. And voila. Done. Perfecto. That's it. No, actually it's not. Anyway, delete these pieces. Uh, I'm thinking we actually extend this this way. Uh, at least once. Or maybe even twice. Like that. There we go. Good. And then we put these pieces on. Yes. And then we actually just continue these pieces all the way up to the top again. Yeah. I don't know how this is going to work. I honestly think this is going to be a really bad design. Uh, but at the same time, if it works, it works. Right? Um, and also, that looks pretty big. Yeah. Okay, so this is actually what we've got so far. Now, this is literally just a big stick, and I'm not entirely sure how to make this stick look uh, any better. So, what we're actually going to do then is we're going to drop this down uh, to around this point right here, where we've actually got it, which is fine. Uh, we're going to do it on both sides. There we go. And we're going to delete this as well. Now, that actually drops it far enough, probably. Maybe even one more. There we go. Delete all of those. Delete that. Awesome. Right, so... That's going to be the stand for our crane. Actually, one more. Delete one more. Uh, there we go. All right. Awesome. That's going to be the stand for our crane right there. We're going to go ahead and attach it all together like this. And then we're going to build the crane part on the top of there. So what we actually need to do then is we need to delete the middle three. There we go. Grab ourselves a uh, pivot. Yep. One of these. And we're going to go ahead and whack that in right there. All right. Awesome. So that's going to stay there like that. We're then going to add, like, I, I guess it's like a big, kind of like a block, actually. We're just going to do this around the outside. We're going to do the same on this side. Yep, and we're going to do the same over here as well. Uh, this is all going to turn, essentially. This is all going to turn. So, we're going to do this sideways there. We're going to do this sideways here. And we're going to attach everything together right there. Okay, so that's going to spin around. And that's going to be quite cool, I think. Maybe. Yeah, so that actually works quite well. If we leave it like that, that's fine. Now we need to get ourselves a hinge. Yes, one of these, a robotic hinge. And essentially, that just needs to poke out over there. And that's it. So, we attach all of these together. We try and make them look pretty and stuff. There we go, like this. Yep, very nice. And we attach them together there and there. Um, Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say I'm not very good at building cranes. Or anything like it. So, this is going to be interesting. Anyway, this is going to go up above said crane. Um, I'm not sure what we actually need to attach up there. But essentially, we need to have, like... Um, we need to have some sort of winch. Yeah, we need a winch up there. Uh, it's going to be this kind of winch. And we're just going to whack it on, I guess, like that. That's fine. Uh, we'll have this come down to here. And we'll have this actually go outwards. Uh, all the way, pretty much, to to here, actually. Yeah, all the way out to here. Now, what I'm actually thinking as well is instead of having it go like this, where we have to raise it to actually drag it closer to us, we could have something moving up and down this line, uh, which would be our other winch. So, if we actually, actually delete all of those, uh, we get ourselves, is it a track? I guess it's called a track. Yeah, here it is. Uh, we put one of these. Right here. And we drag this all the way along. Uh, oh, it needs to be higher. It needs to be one higher. Oh, that sucks. Alright, lift everything up a little bit. That's fine. We can totally do that. So grab this. Yep. Bring it backwards. Yep. Bring it sideways. Yes. Bring it this way too. Very good. Alright, so. Uh, raise it up. Yep. Cut this piece. Move it up one. In fact, move it up two. We might as well. There's no reason not to. Alright, very nice. And then we just need to fill in this section again, and it'll work. Right, so I'm still thinking this is going to look really bad, but um, we're still going to continue with it anyway. So, um, this is going to continue outwards like we were doing before with these things. Uh, and essentially, it's just going to go on here like this. Um, and what this allows us to do is to go all the way to the end like that. There we go. And then, with that being done, we can actually attach one of these to the end like this. And then on top of that... We can actually attach a winch, uh, which I'm thinking we use a bigger one, like this, to there. But we can't actually put that on because of reasons. So I'm actually thinking we use this instead, and we put that right there. Which is awesome. That should work fine. 
Um, that then allows it to actually move backwards and forwards, and that is essentially all we want it to do anyway. So, that's good. Alright, drag this back this way. Awesome sauce. All the way back to there. Go ahead and do the same with this, presumably. Yep, all the way back to there. And then we want... Maybe we want it to be a little bit fatter than that. I don't know. I guess that'll work. That'll work fine. Um, we're actually going to put a thing right here, which is an anchor for a rope. We're just going to whack that in right there. And we're going to attach uh, these two together. Alright, so we're going to attach that to there. Good. Um, not that that's even necessary, because we're going to use the hinge to rotate things anyway. So, I guess that doesn't matter. But, um, yeah, we've got it anyway. Right, merge this with this. Awesome. And then figure out how to attach the rest of this together. Uh, presumably like this. Here we go. Because we're not going to have to come up here. So, it doesn't really matter how we attach this together. So, we'll do this. Alright, very nice. Do this, cross here. And then... I guess we want to do a similar thing across the front, except I'm not going to. Yeah, we're going to leave that bit wide open. I'm sure that's fine. All right, cool. Go ahead and put this here like this. Drag this across. Awesome. Do the same thing right here. Awesome. And then do a similar thing right here. There we go. One there. One there. And essentially, we just need to attach these together like this. There we go. Beautiful. All right, that's pretty awesome. Good. Um, and then the top piece is literally just going to be this, like that, there we go, and actually we're just going to do that, there we go, alright, awesome, uh, the back side can be filled in, the front side cannot, um, but that to me is, is fine I think, yeah, that looks okay, um, right in here though, we're going to have to change this slightly, we're going to actually, uh, drag this downwards, there we go, Alright, very nice. That totally works. Looks a bit weird though, doesn't it? It looks very, very strange. It might just be down to the colour more than anything, but um, even if we change the colour, let's say to orange, and we did this. There we go. Um, I don't know. Right, let's see if we can get it working then. So, we're going to have a helm on the back end of the bridge. Because obviously we can't go up there, so we can't actually control it from up there. Uh, but we can, probably control it from inside of here so let's go ahead and pop this right here awesome and then see if we can get this working so essentially uh w and s oh sorry a and d is going to control this thing w and s is going to control this thing and that's it i think that's all we actually need yep do this to there uh do this to there as well and do this to i guess the battery at the back there we go awesome that's it. That's all we need to do. Alright, actually no, because we need to control these things as well. Okay, so, uh, if we go back to the controls, we should actually have up and down be controlling this thing. But we can't do that because this thing is... Okay, right, that's fine for now. Um, length? Uh, yeah, we need to control this as well. Up, down, oh wow. Yeah, there's lots of things we need to control. Anyway, one can be for down, two can be for up, and I guess we'll leave it like that for now. Uh, we need this thing to work though, so um, actually, let's remove this and this. We're going to have this be up and this be down. Here we go. Good. And then we'll have up and down. Alright, everything's got electricity, so that's all fine. Um, yeah, we're good. All right, spawn it in. Okay, it could do with looking a little bit better than this. I'm not going to lie. But anyway, get inside. Here we go. Go upstairs. Yes. All right, turn the thing around. Oh, wow, that's fast. That is very fast. Look at that. Wow. All right, press one. That drags things backwards. Okay, maybe it doesn't even need to be this long. Also, I need to change it. Hold on. Wait a second. I need it to be sticky. Otherwise, we're going to struggle like crazy to do this. Sticky, yes. And sticky, yes. The rest of them, I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's say we want to take something from the shore. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Things are happening. Things are happening. Happening. Our active stabilization does not like this one bit. No, it does not. 
Oh, God. Okay. Well, we're going to have to sort that out soon, I guess. Because I've just flipped my entire ship over with a crane. Oh, my. <laughs> okay, right. Right, 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 right. That's fine. Uh, but essentially, it does work. We just need the active stabilization to work as well. Now, there is one more thing we need to do in order for this thing to actually work properly. Uh, and that is... That is... What is it? Uh, we need to grab this down here. Okay, so essentially, we need to grab this from there. We need it to go out sideways up to here. We need it to, to, to go this way as well. And we need to copy this. Move it upwards. And we essentially need to make something out of this. So paste it. We want it to be as light as possible. So delete all of that. Make it one-sided. We'll actually have these be the way they are. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste it again. Upside down. All right, paste it there. Awesome. And then we sort of need to fix these together. Um, pretty much from the middle. So wherever the middle of this is, which I don't really know where the middle is. This is a bit of an issue. A bit of an issue indeed. Um, let me sort that out, actually. Where's the middle? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. All right, cool. All right, okay, so we actually have to go from this point right here. That's fine. Uh, on actually both sides, so that's good. In fact, though, we're not going to do it from there. We're going to do it from a little bit away. Uh, just to give this a little bit more, let's say, character. There we go. From there and there, and then the same thing on this side. We're going to do exactly the same thing, pretty much. Uh, this way as well, up to there. Yeah, oh, no, okay. I've done that in the wrong place. Uh, okay, there we go. Up to there. Awesome. Uh, and then we just need to put these back together. There we go. Good. There we go. Good indeed. And then attach these together. But in the middle, we want to get ourselves a rope. We won't be able to twist it round, will we? We actually need, like, a pivot and then a rope. Oh, God. Okay, right. Hold on. A pivot. Uh, yeah. I don't know if this is going to be strong enough, but sure. We're going to have that there. And then we're going to have a rope anchor on top of that. Maybe. Yeah. All right, here we go. A rope anchor right there. Good. Oh, God. Okay, I don't know whether this will work. I don't know if this is how it even works anyway, but... I'm sure that's fine. Right. Okay. So for now, we're just going to paint it all the way across there. We need to do the same on this side. Whee! There we go. Uh, the bottom side is already done. The top side is done as well. Um, so that should work. Good. Okay. So essentially the way this is going to work then is we're going to have to grab on. Well, actually, we're going to have to go up here, grab a rope. Uh, well, actually, to be fair, if we attach the rope now anyway... If we attach the rope to there anyway, um, it should work. Maybe. I don't know. Right, okay, here we go. What happens if we do just spawn it in? It's mid-air, it shouldn't be. Uh, that should connect to the ground, which indeed it has. Uh, and that's going to be the way we actually pick up the containers. So we need a way to detach that. We need a way to detach that um, from the bottom. There's lots of things we need to do, and I'm struggling. My brain just... Yeah, I don't know. Do we even like this being orange? Also, the active stabilization, is it's just not working out. It's not working out. Okay, so I'm actually thinking this thing is going to need a microcontroller because we're going to have to send uh, stuff through a rope, uh, which actually it can't even be a rope, can it? It needs to be an electrical connector, which means that thing has to have an electrical connector on it too. Uh, sorry, an electrical anchor. So that we can actually send electrical signals through it. So, um, we're going to have to change the rope into... Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. We're struggling. We are struggling a little bit. Okay, so actually adding this uh, has been an issue because we've actually got a lot more weight at the back now. Uh, which is a bit of an issue. So, we're actually going to take out some weight. Which is also going to make us a little bit less balanced. And at the same time, it's going to suck. But anyway... We're going to delete all of this weight right here. We're going to then replace it with uh, this, which is uh, just normal blocks. There, there we go. All the way to the back. We're going to delete this. And we're going to put these in. There we go. Now, we can't actually move uh, anymore because we took out the motors. However, if we add some more motors back in, 
we should be able to move again. There we go. All right, cool. We don't have big motors, but we got little motors. And they should allow us to move. So what I want to do is I want to see how this goes. Uh, I want it to reverse at least a little bit to begin with. And then we'll see what happens from there. But um, we're going to have quite a few engines, as you guys can already see. And it should be fine. So let's spawn in. Let's get moving. And hopefully the active stabilization stays okay. So uh, do this into here. There we go. Very nice. Press this. Go backwards. Alright, so the active stabilization will be doing its thing uh, inside of here. It's not currently doing anything. It's actually working fine. It's working. <laughs> it's working. We're stable. How weird is that? So it works when we're going backwards. Perfect. It doesn't work when we're still. Oh. Oh. Alright, go forwards. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. It is trying to write itself. Okay, but then it does it too much. Yeah. I haven't really had too much experience with with um, with um active stabilization. The ships that I used to build kind of didn't need it because we didn't have any cranes lifting heavy things. Uh, but now we need it. And it has annihilated our chances of this thing working, actually. Um... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got issues. We got big issues. Okay, right. Um, so, I don't want to actually... I don't want to cancel this project. So, what I want to say is... Um, the thing that I want to do is... Extend the hull downwards again. I know we actually we changed it. But, essentially, if we do extend it downwards a little bit further... Then we have more room and we have it in the bottom. So we can actually have the active stabilization at the very bottom of the ship. Um, and that should be quite cool. I don't know. I don't know. Things like this boggle my mind. I actually wanted this to look a little bit nicer. But as, as of right now, this is what we've got. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we've added a crane. We need to fix it a little bit. We need to make a microcontroller for it to actually work. Uh, for this thing to work. And um, is that it? I guess that's it. Then it should actually be able to work. We need some bow thrusters as well. That also makes our balance issues a little bit bad. Um, and we need more detail everywhere. So there's lots of things we need to do. I guess we can do it eventually. Um, but for right now, I'm going to end this video here. And think about how to actually fix all of the things that have gone wrong so far. Yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it at least a little bit. And um, give me your thoughts on what you actually think of this. Like, that big long stick, I don't know. It looks a bit weird, but it works. So, maybe that's fine. I don't know. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Goodbye.